Christopher and Dana were gifts to each other, to their families, to their friends, to those of us who, before we ever knew them, watched them with great delight in their careers as actors and entertainers of the first order. After Christopher's accident, he and Dana became leaders of a movement. The movement existed before them. Christopher and Dana gave this movement visibility. They made everybody have to stop and look and think about what we should be doing to make sure that we pass this act named in Chris's honor, but also respect the need to find cures for every form of paralysis. The Christopher Reeve Paralysis Act contains four components. One, paralysis research. Two, paralysis rehabilitation research and care. Three, improving quality of life for persons with paralysis and other physical disabilities. Today, we join together and call on Congress to pass the Christopher Reeve Paralysis Act in the memory of Christopher and Dana Reeve. These two individuals recognize the multifaceted need for research, rehabilitation, and quality of life programs for people living with paralysis, the very tenets of the Christopher Reeve Paralysis Act. And today, we will call on Congress to pass this legislation in their memory. As long as there is hope and promise for a cure to spinal cord injuries, Parkinson's, cerebral pulse, other such diseases, as long as that hope and that possibility is there, we have an unfinished agenda. A hundred million dollars over three years for the Christopher Reeve Paralysis Act is the minimal amount that this country ought to be committing. We ought to be doing more. As long as paralysis research remains scattered, uncoordinated, less effective than it should be, we have an unfinished agenda. As long as NIH, the National Institute of Health, is starved for funding, unable to pursue important new directions in paralysis research, we have an unfinished agenda. And today, every single one of us are here for Chris, we're here for Dana, we're here for what they fought for, we're here for what is right, we're here for what is morally compelling, we are here to get America back on a track of common sense and do the research necessary that will help all of our country come together around the better aspirations and hopes of ourselves as Americans and as human beings. But this is the moment in time that we should pass this bill. It's a model bill on how patient groups should advance science, rehabilitation research, and quality of life programs. It's really holistic. We think it looks at the whole package and the way the government can help individuals. It's for collaborative research. It enhances quality of life. It has finally a database for spinal cord injuries, which is run through the Veterans Administration. It's a well-written piece of legislation, which is written to be encrypted, and it needs to be instituted immediately. I think um, just hearing straight from all the scientists that were on the panel and hearing where they're at with it today and where they plan on going with it in the future is just very inspiring and motivating to continue doing the advocacy and it just I think it encourages everybody in that room how important it is to get this moving forward and it's sad to hear that scientists are leaving the field because there's no money. Well this rally is beautiful you know it's another collaboration of research scientists and advocates to fight for the Christopher Reeve Paralysis Act. There's a lot of information going on as far as the clinical trials and the studies with the rats as far as there is possible cures and um, therapies out there to cure paralysis. Why are we outsourcing our clinical trials? Why are we outsourcing our science? Let's do it here in the United States. What I'm upset about is that they're leaving our country to take advantage of the research that our scientists here, that our scientists here in the United States have worked on, but they have to go overseas because our FDA just 
can't get around this, this, this research and get these procedures into clinical trials, and uh, it's extremely frustrating. And I think hopefully with the Christopher Reeve Paralysis Act, once we get that passed, we will have a much better foundation here for clinical trials that we will be able to do the procedures and the uh, and all the rehabilitation here in this country. Basically, it would help me, you know, to pretty much improve my life, make it better, uh, easier to get around, and hopefully also to hopefully be able to walk one day and be independent and just have a overall better life. What it means to me is being able to live my full life without worrying about dying from a pressure sore, without having to cease working because I can't get my bowel or my bladder under control. It means having the care that I need if I still need it, and it ha means having a realistic and present soon option for really being well. And whether that means being out of this chair, we certainly hope so, but there's a lot of things we can accomplish even before that. The message is that we need to do everything we can to make sure we can pass the Christopher Reeve Act for more research and more funding um, that that wonderful bill will provide if we can get it to move forward. And everyone here that's in a wheelchair is not living to die, but we're just dying to live. So please pass this 